welcome <laughs> back to another episode of If You Know, You Know. And if you don't know, then... I guess you must have no phone or internet. <laughs> nah. I, I, I really don't know how you... You can't even be watching this right now because yeah. you definitely know what we're talking about. Correct. <laughs> Today we're going to be talking about... Um, the fact that we are in a toxic relationship, relationship with, with social, social media, media, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so the question of the day, based on what you learned about me, does my social media accurately reflect who I am? Why or why not? From what I see and what I know about you, everything is pretty accurate. Like there's nothing that seems or is out of the blue. Everything that you have on your page, right, is is to me a very accurate representation of who you are. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> <laughs> we are so cute. I love it. I was saying the same about you. Everything is pretty accurate because you do have like unglam yes, pictures stupid. like this. <laughs> and then her caption literally says, here's a bunch of photos I think I look absolutely fabulous in. <laughs> like, please, someone, someone prove her wrong. Okay, like, uh, she does look pretty fabulous in most of them. <laughs> so fucking stupid. <laughs> True, true, true. Everything is pretty accurate. You do show your goofy side. You do mm. show like your more like classy, professional, pretty side. So I guess it's pretty well balanced. I think... I think like that, that part, right? Mm. Like that goofy side actually came out where I... I stopped posting for a very long time on social media. And then one day I was like, why should I even I care remember you, un- you archived a lot of your pictures. Yeah. 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 And then I was like, you stalked me. <laughs> no, 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 no. I do that with everyone. You're not special. <laughs> oh, that's no, no, a realisation. No, no, no. uh. I remember you had three posts at one point in time for quite a while. Yeah. Two or three posts. Yeah. Yeah. And then suddenly, like, you have 15 again. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> yeah. And I, I stopped posting for a long, long while. Mm. Um, and then one day, I was just like, who the fuck cares anymore? Like, why should Precisely. I care anymore? Precisely. So I just posted something stupid. <laughs> and it broke the chain. <laughs> it broke the professional chain. Yeah. But actually, same. Like, nowadays, like, I don't really care mm. what how many likes I get mm. or like how many followers I have like I don't really care I just post whatever I want on my story mm. like when I feel like posting and when I don't feel like posting I just don't post but that didn't used to be the case all the time mm. yeah I okay. used to be super self-conscious of whatever I was doing on social media and whatever I would be posting and even like whose pictures I was liking oh yeah I used, pictures yeah, I used to be super calculative about that oh yeah Okay. Yeah, but now I just like everybody's pictures because I think everybody deserves a like. Social media being toxic, I think a lot of people can relate. A lot of people True. feel... I, 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 I'm I sure I can speak for a lot when when I say that when you're on social media, sometimes you feel very judged and very... um. Like, everyone is looking at you and... Does, it doesn't feel comfortable. Yes. It feels definitely. awkward. Which is why people feel the need to create like additional accounts when nobody really follows them. Like a private or like a spam account. I think that's so... <laughs> <laughs> I have... I, I had... There was a point in time where... I mean, I still do. Mm. <clears throat> I have uh, my main. Mm. I have my private. Okay. And I have a third account. Wow. That has like... Fifth, in people on it. Okay, okay. And what do you post? What are the differences it's, between what you post there? I don't use the second account anymore. Okay. Um. So the private you don't use? Yeah, the private I don't use anymore. Because okay. I realised that there's so many people there that I don't... I'm not... Talk to? I don't talk to anymore. It was mm-hmm. just like a come and go kind of phase. Okay, okay. And then um, we were close once and now we're not. I don't even look on that account anymore oh interesting yeah. but you still have it la. I still have it for the memories because okay. it dates back to when I was in secondary school wow yeah okay Um. then my private private is where I dump a lot of stupid things or like not just stupid things but I think a lot of emotions you dump that on your main too stupid things yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah my close friends list is true <laughs> yeah I have a lot of stupid things on my mm. close friends list on my main she does she does mm. and and I think what is very interesting right mm. is people who have uh, I know I know quite a, uh, quite a few friends who do this but people who have a uh, private and then 
on their private, they have a close friends list. Okay, okay. Okay, Trust issues. <laughs> <laughs> but how do you feel about the fact that you even have to create all these accounts in the first place? Like, social media did not used to be like this. Yeah. Right? Mm. So, I really thought about it makes me it? very sad. Because, like, I've also had multiple accounts mm-hmm. and I had to, like, see through the people that I really want. Even though I don't have, like, a close friends list on my, mm. on my main account. Mm. But... I wish that I did not have to sieve through the friends and sieve through people that I don't really like trust per se to post whatever I want to post even though it is my account and I should post whatever I want to post regardless but mm. somehow there is a limit or there is a boundary. I feel like okay because my account has I would say there are people that I'm not very close to I don't know but I don't even know them at all sometimes. Mm. And they, they, they follow me. So to me, it's just... Some things I don't want to share with you. I don't feel like mm. I, there's a need to share my entire life and put my entire life on that's social true, that's media. That's true, that's true. Definitely, yeah. So that's where... It's a bit overrated. Mm, mm. So that's where that, that boundary comes in. Mm. Where I'm saying, like, these are the people I want to know. And these are the people that I want to keep updated. And these are the people that can see anything else that I don't mind... Posting. Um, yeah. And I don't mind being up in the public eye. I feel like you don't have to see... Like, you can see my goofy side. You can see, like, my personality. And I will be as authentic as I am. But again, like, why is this so? Like, why do we feel that incessant need to want to pronounce and proclaim that we're doing this, is this in our lives, but we don't want to share with everyone, but we still want to share it with some people like that's a question that I always think about if we can share it with some people why can't we share it with others if you already have that decision to put it on social media for the world to see you know what I mean I know what I mean but I can't right? answer that question I, I cannot answer that question too <laughs> if anyone like, can answer please leave please it in the comments me. because I really want to know maybe mm. it has partly to do with keeping up appearances like the whole showing people the side that you want to see you, the side that you want people to see. Precisely, which I feel is so sad. I did have people on that. Why did I not remember this earlier? I, I did have people on that, right? And, oh. And like, um, this whole, the close friends list, if I'm not wrong, if I remember correctly, was, mm. um, up, came up because people were creating private accounts. And, and uh. Instagram noticed it. So they created their close friends list section. Mm. Make sure that you have somewhere, like a space. To out, yeah, an outlet. Mm. Why doesn't anyone do anything to change the current state of social media? That's another question that I really want to know. Like, I mean, I think people do. They just do it in their own private space. For example, taking a break off social media. Mm, okay, okay. But you see, like, to have to take a break, right? It means that something was so tiring and exhausting. Why is social media so exhausting to the fact that people want to take a break from it? Maybe. Like, it doesn't have to be this way and it never used to be this way. When you're on social media constantly... When you're looking at people's stories, mm. it's very inevitable that you compare your lives. You constantly compare, like, is this person's life more happening than mine? Like, is this person prettier than I am? Why does she have more friends than I do? Her life is so interesting, mine is so boring, I just stay wow. home and sleep all day. That kind of wow. comparisons. I hate that. that. I feel like it happens in your subconscious. That's very true, but I still hate it. Like, we get absorbed so much content. Like, I don't even She absorbs so much content. Yeah, eh? I'm not yeah, kidding. Yeah. Eh? She'll just <laughs> randomly tell me about how... Can I mention her name? Okay, fine. <laughs> so, Nicole's obsessed with... Um, I'm not obsessed. Obsessed is the wrong word. But she can tell me every detail about her day. Everything, everything she posts, rather. No, oh, you detail. haven't said the person yet. Oh, uh, her name is Chow. I mean... You're pretty much known. Chow, uh. Y'all know who's Chow, but yeah. I remember and I know like everything that Chow does and posts on her story. So obviously, obsessed I don't la. know. No. Okay, so <laughs> I, I obviously don't know what she does like behind like yeah, IG yeah, yeah. and behind yeah. her social media. Of course. But that would be in the eyes of social media, like I am I am a big eye when it comes to like noticing what she does and what she posts on her story and what she what she edits like her photos and I know like her colour scheme in her feed like which colour is supposed to be because I'm just like I want to say observant but I think that's the wrong obsessed. word no it's not I'm not <laughs> obsessed I think 
I just have an eye for these kind of things. So I don't really know why I remember everything. It takes up your brain space. Eh? It does, it does. And it's you not think just, about it. No, I don't, I don't, I don't. But I remember when someone asked me like, oh, do you know this person's user? Or do you know like what this person like posted on their story? Then I'd be like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She did this, this, this. Or he did that, that, that. And I will say it without any hesitation because I remember. Oh. I remember everything. Wow, okay, and that's, that's I, some intense shit. I hate that I remember. Like, if John posted a story like last night and you asked me today like, hey, do you remember what John posted? I'll be like, oh yeah, he went to eat this with, with this person. I actually am the complete opposite from you. Oh. Well, it takes up your brain space, right? Mine is a lot of mindless scrolling. Mindless scrolling, okay, okay. Yeah, so it doesn't, unless something hits me hard, right? Mm. Then it registers. But otherwise, I don't really remember. And I think um, while the, the toxic trait for you is taking up brain space. Yes. Unnecessarily. Yes. Right. Mine would be taking up time. Yeah, because it's a lot of mindless yeah. activity it's like for TikTok. you. It's like TikTok. You just keep scrolling and after that, you're like, what the fuck? It's 3 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> oh, but I also remember a lot of, a lot of TikToks that I watch, mm. which, is, which is why it sucks because I don't like a lot of the videos. But then when I remember something and I want to go back and look at it, I can't look at it. I send you a lot of stupid TikToks. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> I don't really like watch TikTok anymore. But when I used to watch TikTok, like mm. during Circuit Breaker and stuff, I would remember every single trend and like every single video that people do. Can you do a dance? No, God, no. <laughs> no, Jesus Christ. But yeah, it's it's so crazy that I that it takes up so much of my brain power and brain space. Mm. Yeah. I I'm not sure whether it's a good thing or a bad thing, but it's definitely something. A lot of times you want to know so much about what other people are saying and what other people are doing on social media that it becomes a habit to keep opening the app and keep like going to everyone's stories and seeing what everybody okay, I think does. I get what you mean. Because, right. you know, there's been a few occasions, right? I'm very sure that you have experienced this before also. <laughs> but you you just close, like, a social media app. And then you open it right after yes. that. Yes. And oh you're like, wait, what God. am I doing? Yes. Why do we do that? It's so irritating. I don't know, eh. Are we bored? And then I <laughs> open the app, right? And then I continue scrolling for, like, a couple of seconds. And then I'm like, I was just here. Do and I have I, no I life? Close it and then I like, open it again. And then I get so frustrated, I just lock my phone because I get so <laughs> irritated with myself. Like, why do I keep making that same like mistake over and over again? Hey, you know what? It might, mean, it might not be a mistake, it might be a habit, you know. Okay, that's true. I used too polite of a word. I shouldn't have described it as a mistake. It's a habit. It's a very bad right? habit. Right? It's, yeah. like it's like a, oh, I open my phone and I'm going to click into this app. It's just an automatic, like your finger knows where to yeah. go kind of thing. Yeah. It's so it doesn't even scary. register in your brain. It's so scary. I still remember for like O level period, right? I deleted Instagram mm. for two to three months. Yes. I did Can I just thing. say it was the best two to three months of my life? Because now we can't delete IG anymore because it is our job and it is our work oh, yeah. to like okay, I don't know about you, but it's definitely part yeah. of my work to to have IG and to look at like company IG and things like yeah. that. So, it is impossible for me to delete Instagram even though I really want to. But, I realised that there were a couple of months that I deactivated IG also. Yes. And, in turn, right, it didn't stop me from going on IG because I still went on IG just scrolling on like my company's IG app. <laughs> like, account. Even though I don't I even know the people that were following, I, I just wanted to have that habit of scrolling, have that habit of watching stories even though like, I don't even know whose stories we're watching. Mm. And after a while, I just reactivated my account and went back into my main account because... What was the point? Yeah. I get that what you mean. That was so lame. Yeah, I did, I did the same thing. I did the same thing. There, yeah. there were a couple of times I deactivated also. Yeah. And then I think the most it lasted was like two weeks and I was back on. Okay, but why? But I don't know. And during O-Levels, during O-Levels, I, I also deactivated for a couple of months because... And it felt so good, right? It, it, it felt like, I yeah, it, it was like, um I wouldn't say a break, but it felt like everything was just silent for a while. And I, did, I had no... Silent is the word. I had no um want to go back on that. Mm, same. Same. Right. I didn't even want to download it back after yeah. O-Levels ended. I just I downloaded like, oh. it back because I wanted to post stuff again. But I downloaded like, it back because I wanted to see what my friends were doing. Oh, I downloaded it back because after O levels, like you know, you have a lot of fun and you want to post it on mm, social media. So okay, I just okay. why I downloaded it back. But like, other than that, I didn't really 
have a need to be like, oh my god, I'm craving Instagram. Like, I will not borrow my friend's phones to like scroll through IG mm. the way I used to when more recently I deactivated my app. Mm. Which is very, very scary to me. We are indeed slaves to social uh, media. Can, okay. We are indeed in toxic relationships with social media. I mean, media. ask yourself, right? Can you live without TikTok for like a week? Okay lah, TikTok I can lah. Yeah. Okay. But for our audience, like, oh. what do you think? Huh? Y'all That's can true. live without TikTok for one week, not? Comments. <laughs> we want to know. Actually, I want to know. What is the most frequent social media app that you visit? I think now it's TikTok, eh. Because really? there's so much content on it. But no I matter how much you scroll, like, right? Reels, you know. Like, Reels is essentially TikTok. I know, but Reels is the lame version of TikTok. Oh my god. <laughs> Who does it? I don't know. I don't, <laughs> I, don't use, I don't use Reels. The thing about TikTok is that you always have content. Like, there's mm, always it new never content. It never ends. It never ends. Correct. It's not like, um, it's not like on IG, right, where I guess you used to be limited to to the number of people that you follow. Mm. So, sometimes when you scroll, there's oh, like no new post. Oh, explore page though. Yeah. Explore page never ends mm. in that sense. Yeah. But TikTok has, I don't know, there's just always something new down there that you can send to your friends mm. or share. Yeah. That's true. And oh, every last time it used to day. be Snapchat. Do you remember Snapchat? I remember Snapchat. I hated Snapchat. I, I, I deleted mean, Snapchat the first among all my friends because I thought it was way too toxic. Yeah, and I, I lost all my streets. Yeah, yeah, same. I gave up on all my streets and I deleted Snapchat because... And then my friends were like, oh, why do you delete Snapchat? I'm like, what's the boring. point? I don't understand yeah. what Snapchat does anymore. I also don't know. Like, it's just a place for you to like, take pictures. Oh, you know what it used to be? Camera roll. Yeah. It used to be a place to send nudes. I oh, think because it, it would disappear, dead. right? Yeah. And then there was like a time limit. Yeah. But in the end, we didn't use it like to send news. No la, we just yeah. used it like to maintain streaks with one another. I don't know why. Yeah. We did that. Was, that was a, I feel like that was in secondary school. After I went yes. into, oh my God, after yes. I went into poly, right? In secondary school. My streaks were all fucking lame. Or just like fucking take a black picture of something. Yeah, just to like, send it to someone. Mass and, and that's done for the day. It's like a job. <laughs> it's like it's a, a job. It's a full-time job, eh. <laughs> yeah, it's like, uh, then I don't open... <laughs> The app for the rest of the day. No, I, I don't even open my friend's Snapchats to me. Oh no. You just send them. <laughs> I just send them. I'm like, okay, oh, I'm done. No. That's sad. You see, that becomes a chore. That's yeah. why social media becomes a chore. Yeah. We, we briefly brushed past this just now. Mm. Like this this point about seeking validation mm. on social media. Yes. Oh my god. I think that's god. very true. The likes. Yeah. The comments. Yeah. The follows. Mm. Even the tags, actually. You know, it used to be like, okay, when I was in secondary school, it used mm. to be a thing. What used to be a thing? Like this, uh, like the likes how, thing. Yeah. yeah. And like, it was always about, okay, on, on IG, I remember, I remember this. In secondary school, when things hadn't changed yet, when the algorithm hadn't changed mm. yet, we were hacking the, hacking the algorithm by posting at a prime time. Oh my god, there time. used to be a prime time. Yes, do you remember? Like in the evening, I think. Yes, it was like... I don't remember what time it was, but I know it was in the evening. Six to seven. Sometimes eight. Around that, that time lah. But why is, why I is that I think, thing? I think... Okay, tonight I'm going to post a post, okay? At like okay. seven or eight. And then I'll tell you... I don't you, think it works anymore. I'll tell you how well it does or how well it doesn't do. Here's the thing, right? I feel like they changed their algorithm a couple of times since ah. then. And then now it's about... I wouldn't know. I can't remember. I can't remember. They changed it. I just know that it changed it, but I can't remember exactly what. I should know. I should know though. <laughs> I don't want to know because I feel like... You'll try to. Yeah. I'll just get influenced by it and want to no, post it's at not, that time. I don't think it's something that you can hack anymore. I'm not sure if you can do it anymore. Is it considered hacking? Like, I'm sure there's a better word for it. Uh, playing the algorithm. <laughs> Testing the algorithm. Yeah. Testing, really. Yeah. And like, it used to be a thing. Like, like count or like Yeah, like count, count used to be a thing. But I really, really feel like this validation on social media is the wrong, it's the wrong place to seek validation because no matter how many comments you get telling you that you're pretty or telling you like, oh my god, your outfit looks so good. Like, if you don't believe it within yourself, then what's the point of getting all this validation mm. on social media? I don't, I personally don't feel like social media is the place to get validation from. Mm-hmm. I think you need to I seek it, it with this. could help la, you know. Maybe, but it feels like very empty comments. Correct. La. Yeah, it does. Yeah. It helps with that boost 
for temporary boost. Yeah, yeah, like for maybe a few hours, one, two days. A few hours, and then it's gone. You know, then you're back to self doubt. There is no, <laughs> there is no point to it after a while because people are just saying what you want to hear. Honestly, people are just complimenting you with words that you think you want to hear, and then after a while, it just becomes empty compliments. You know what? That's the thing, right? Okay, mm-hmm. so, so, um. I know, I know that some people, on their whenever they post a, a story, story, sorry, a post mm-hmm. like a selfie or something. Okay. Then their friends will all comment. Yeah. Oh my god, it looks so pretty. Look this. Oh my god, this that that. Yes. that you know, you know. Yes. But <laughs> I've never been one to like comment that unless I really think so. Oh. Yeah. I always do that because I want to hype my friends up. Mm. Yeah. But I get that. If you do it too much, it can seem like an empty compliment. Yeah. But for me, it's never an empty compliment, mm. lah, Because like I genuinely you think my friends are pretty, right? That's why. I, <laughs> that's why I'm friends with them. I mean, obviously. <laughs> that's, whoa, whoa, whoa! That's she why. Exposed no, 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 no. I meant that's why I. There is no. There is no coming back to this. Obviously, like all my friends are pretty, what? Like even if my friend is a fucking dwarf and the ugly as fuck, oh. I would still think my friend is pretty, what? Aya, I won't. You won't. They won't. They won't. <laughs> Exposed eh Wow Obviously my friends are pretty As in I would think that my friends are pretty lah Because They are my friends Yeah Yeah That was my point I would comment on all my friends co- Like mm. posts and stuff Because I want them to get hyped up lah mm. Yeah Even though there is a fine line Between hyping them up And just giving them empty like compliments Like a fake Like a fake compliment mm. Yeah I get the whole Hyping your friends up thing right mm. But then for some people that you you barely keep in contact anymore, when I see the comments, I'm like, really? Yes, <laughs> really, really. I also say, law. I also say. Right? It's like, really? Yes. I'm like, do you really think so? Are mm. you just, like, why are you commenting? Are you yeah, I'm just saying it for the sake of saying it. And then it's like, am I really like that? Am I really what you say? Like, what you compliment me to be? And then I start doubting. In turn, yeah, it, in turn it becomes like, yeah, a, it becomes, like a something harmful instead yes, of something that's nice. But why? That does not need to... We did not need to overthink until this extent. Huh. <laughs> overthink. But we did not need to do that. As in, what is the point? I think it doesn't serve us any good and it doesn't serve either party any good. I used to have photos of like random shit, like mobile uploads folder who would be full of the randomest shit like a piece of candy or like a paper clip. I would literally take a picture of a paper clip and I thought it was cool. Then I'll post the it. The question Facebook. is why? I don't know. Like what's it would be a paper clip on the table. And then I would just take a photo like, of it. Oh, that's like, nice. It's a up. nice photo. Yeah. <laughs> I would think like I would need to get like, like straight and like in the center of the picture and everything. And then I'll be like, oh my god, it's a beautiful photo. And then I'll upload it on Facebook into my mobile uploads folder. What were you thinking when you posted that photo? Nothing. What was I thinking? Yeah. Uh? That's just a nice photo. It's a nice photo lah. I was like, oh, I love this paper clip. It's cute. Let me just take a photo of it. Is that the same thought process that you have nowadays when you post? No. <laughs> <laughs> if not, I will just take a selfie of like us and like post it on our stories. Right. But I don't do so, that. So, that is so sad. That yeah. as we, as social media evolves, we have to classify a specific thing as aesthetic before we mm. think to take a photo of it and post it on social media. Which is sad lah. If not, like, there are so many things out of this camera that, like, you guys cannot see. But I'll just take a photo of, like, the aircon box and post it on social media. If, <laughs> if that was deemed as, like, aesthetic. But unfortunately, it's not. I mean, this is actually what you mentioned. You all see us on this couch and it looks nice. But behind you is messy as fuck, let me tell yeah. you. <laughs> yeah, on the floor it here is not, messy. It is not aesthetically pleasing. Not something you upload onto Facebook should or I Instagram. Post a, should I have a clip? Should I, should I just take a picture okay, of okay. what it looks like? And I'll just put it in the... <laughs> Oh my god, we look we are chaotic <laughs> as fuck. <laughs> yeah. So not everything on social media is true. Yeah. Social media is never what you truly see. You never get the big picture. Yeah. You correct. only get like the grids worth of pictures. And then mm-hmm, what? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like how do I how do I even say this? Okay, to put it very simply, right? Mm. You can look at a couple and go, oh my god, they're fucking cute. And then, like, next week, they break up. Yeah. You never know what's going on Correct. Like, then behind the scenes. You don't know. Yeah. And it's up for interpretation <laughs> because they will never ever post their unhappy moments or, Correct. like, their fights anyway. Yeah. yeah. Take everything that you see with a pinch of salt. Mm. 
Be careful what you post on social media. Yes, as yes. Well. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah that was honestly, a honestly, like honestly. you don't want to have things catch up to you in the past. Like things from your past catch mm. up to you, right? Yeah. Like, like honestly. Yeah. Like be careful. There are things that are just embarrassing, but they are also th- embarrassing. Is like certain category. The paper clip is embarrassing, yes, and like her whole pet study gallery I'm sure everyone had it it was not just me <laughs> but okay target me right <laughs> and there are things that can hurt you and your future mm. so be careful of what you post yeah especially those very young girls on tiktok oh yes don't on any social media yeah, yeah. if you know you should not be on ig or on any other social media platform then maybe try and not have you until you're of the age to do so because there is a reason why these age limits are, are put in place. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Don't see things that you're not ready to see. La, yeah. See. Sometimes ignorance is bliss. True. Sometimes, sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> and with that, we will see you next, next week. I'm Nicole. I'm Ray. <laughs> <laughs> why do we not do this in the beginning? <laughs> See you next next week. (laughs) Bye.